We're in the laundry room today and I love this space so much. I love that we were able to build into the attic and create a vaulted ceiling and do the collar ties in wood that ties into Ivy's bedroom and our great room and my studio. Also, we've carried another element that we used a lot throughout our home, and that's vertical TNG. We did that in our mudroom as well, and I've done that on all the walls and the ceiling in here. I love this space. It kind of represents everything I love about design. It's functional, it's beautiful, and it has a lot of natural light. On the floor, we did this limestone and we did a little bit wider grout to really show off those beautiful tumbled edges. We incorporated a really soft gray on the cabinetry. We used a color called Natural Cream by Benjamin Moore and it's the same color that's on the ceiling in my master bedroom. But because of the way the light hits, it reads a little differently in here. So we've done two different light colors, but they work together. So we have the Swiss coffee at 75% on the walls and then slightly darker color on the cabinets. Carrera marble on all of the countertops, this really pretty high arc faucet and a big stainless steel tub sink for me to just soak and get all the stains out. One other little detail I love in here is that we built in cubbies for rolling hampers. I'm really crazy about how I organize the laundry situation. So I have the hampers in the kids room where they keep their dirty clothes. We bring them in here, we wash them, and then as soon as we pull them out of the dryer, they go into the hampers and then that's where their clean clothes are. So it's easy and the clothes don't get mixed up and just simplifies things just a little bit, even though Sid would probably beg to differ. On this side of the wall, we decided not to wrap the cabinets towards the window and just do one wall here. It had a lot of clothes and it felt like we needed a moment of open shelving. So we did clothes so I can hide towels and tablecloths and things like that in this space. Then did some open shelves and then two little drawers. I love the detail of bringing the cabinets all the way down to the countertops here. One other thing you may have noticed is that instead of doing a hardware that's a brass or a silver, we did painted wood knobs. Some may say this is kind of a country look and I really like it. I'm loving the effect. It's the first time I've used this look and I don't think it will be the last. I love that it just keeps everything very clean. I had blank space on either side of the window that really felt like it called for sconces, but I decided to try something new in here and instead of doing like a task light, we did a lantern style light and I think that the effect is a bit traditional and I really love that weathered zinc look on those light fixtures. Last but certainly not least, this door. I love glass and that it lets natural light through and we have this hallway at the top of our stairs and I wanted to be able to see the light that we get in from this window through it. So it was just one last detail to finish off the space. A home is never fully finished. We still have some spaces left to design and work on. My studio and our basement being kind of the last on the list. So for now, this is the end of the McGee home tour, but I promise that there's more to come. Mm -hmm.